In mid-2024, is AM4, so new, not used, worth it at any price point? It's definitely worth it at any price point. Um, <laughs> but I think you mean... For $1. I think what they mean by any price point is um, your price point is low. Yeah, so is not it, is if they worth... reduce the price to yeah, ridiculous is, levels. Is, yeah. If your price point is entry-level budget sort of yeah, stuff. Yep. Um, yes, basically DDR4 memory is still cheaper. It's not significantly cheaper, but it is cheaper. Uh, I think I did a comparison for this in my, I think it might have been my 5800X3D versus the Zen 4 X3D series very recently. I did a cost analysis and you're, you, you, you can save more on AM4. It doesn't make sense at the X3D end of the scale. So your 5800X3D. Doesn't make sense there, um, but if you're buying uh, a 5600 or 5700X, probably 5700X, uh, they're much cheaper CPUs. You could then justify getting a cheaper, maybe even a B450 board or something like that, or yep. just an entry-level B550, and then 32 gigabytes of cheap DDR4 memory. Then that will be good bang for your buck. Uh, I don't know if I necessarily recommend that, but if you're trying to save every last dollar, then that is certainly one of the better options. Yeah, I think most of the value is really for CPU upgraders. So if you're already on AM4 mm -hmm. and you're thinking, oh, you know, should I even invest money to buy an upgrade on the same platform or should I be saving up that money to do the full platform upgrade to AM5? Certainly products like the 5700X3D and 5800X3D present pretty good value for upgraders and that would be a better choice than potentially like your, I don't know, 7600, but having to do the full platform upgrade. Mm -hmm. So yeah, that's. I really think that this probably hasn't changed all that much in the last couple of months or even the last 12 months. It's really either your CPU upgrade, in which case some CPUs make sense, or you're trying to save every last dollar, get the cheapest system, in which case then, yeah, AM4 still has some value. But then again, maybe with the release of Zen 5, the AM5 platform will have some cost improvements, especially for last gen products. So fingers crossed that that happens and within the next, maybe the second half of the year, we'll be talking about AM5 is a great platform for even entry level system builders. So we'll see. Fingers crossed.